Welcome back to the workshop. Today we're going to build a farmhouse style trestle table. Let's get started. Joiner sled, planer, table saw. Milling lumber may be boring, but sawdust in slow motion is awesome. Once all the boards are milled, I mark locations for the dowels. I transfer a line across two boards, then flip each one on the side and mark the center point. Then I mark it with a brad awl and drill it out with a portion of bit the size of the dowel. Do this for all the inside edges and it's time to cut out the dowels. I use my crosscut sled to cut out the dowels. I marked a line on the sled and then cut the dowels close to that. They don't have to be exact. This was one of the toughest glue ups I've done. It starts off simple enough. Just put glue on the edges, insert the dowels, and clamp the boards together. But then the boards decided they wanted the bow, so I had to clamp the boards a little bit, walk on the whole thing to flatten it out, clamp a little more, walk on it, clamp, walk, clamp, walk. I eventually resorted to crawling on it and it finally worked. Next it was time to cut the table to the final length. Make sure you stick your tongue out while measuring for the highest accuracy possible. Time to flatten the table. Lots of belt sanding here. Remember, belt sanding is all in the hips. I used a straight edge turned on its side and marked out all the high points. Then I sanded that area down. I kept doing this until it was flat and then finished it up with 220 grit on the random orbital sander. For the breadboard ends, I started by scoring a knife line, then reinforced it with a chisel to prevent tear out. Then I used my circular saw set to the depth of the tenon and scored the end of the board every half inch or so. Then I used a chisel and removed three to four rows of wood at a time and then came back with a router and flattened that area. Repeat that all the way until you're almost to the knife wall and then use a chisel to flush up the remaining wood. Now do all that three more times. Hey, if you're enjoying this, then consider hitting the subscription button and notification bell, so that way you don't miss any future videos. I would really appreciate it, and you're going to thank yourself in the long run. I left a three quarter inch shelf on the end and then cut out the tenons using a handsaw and a jigsaw. The shoulder was too close for the jigsaw to fit, so I had to lift it up and use the top of the table as a reference surface. 
I set my table saw to the depth of the shoulder and ran the breadboards through several passes to get the thickness I needed. A quick clean up with the chisel and it was time for the mortises. You want the mortises to be a little wider than the tenons so the wood has room to expand. I used my drill press to hog out most of the waste and then it was on to the hammer and chisels. I was running into my deadline and needed to hurry up, and I found out that a drill with a wide bit does a surprisingly good job at hogging out mortises. I just ran the drill through what the drill press didn't get, and I got the breadboards done super quick. I used an air compressor to blow out any leftover sawdust, and then cleaned up the edges with a chisel. From the center of each board, I drew a line down to the breadboard. I marked where I wanted to drill with a brad awl, and then used a spade bit to drill out the dowel holes. I put the breadboards back on, punched the centers of the holes, pulled the breadboards back off, and then 1 16th inch closer to the center of the table drilled another hole. This creates a draw bore, and when I hammer in the dowels, it will pull the breadboards tighter to the table, creating a stronger joint. On all the holes except for the center one, I used a file to widen them to allow for wood expansion and contraction. Finally, it's time to attach the breadboards. Only use glue on the center tenon, stick your tongue out for maximum concentration, and put the breadboard on. Put glue on the entire center dowel and hammer it in. For the rest of the dowels, hammer them almost all the way in, then add just a little bit of glue and give them another whack of a hammer. You only want to glue the dowels to the top of the table, otherwise it may split with seasonal expansion and contraction. After the glue dries, cut the dowels flush and sand everything smooth. Then cut the breadboards flush and go over everything with 220 grit for the final sanding. And it's finally time to finish it. Now use wipe on stain. Make sure you follow the grain with your strokes or you're going to get streaks in the stain. Then I sprayed on three coats of water-based poly, sanding in between each coat. And we're done. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell, because next week we're going to build the base for this bad boy. Uh, so you don't want to miss that. In the meantime, check out one of these videos up here. I'll see you on the next one.